When you think of the south coast of Cornwall, you probably think of beaches and summer holidays. But between the towns of Helston and St Austell, there are two large marine protected areas. It's a populated stretch of coast, with winding waterways, beaches and busy harbours. But it also supports some amazing marine wildlife. The Fallon Helford estuaries are river valleys that were drowned after the last ice age, so they're very deep in places. They're also open to the sea and influenced by the tide and waves. This creates varied conditions for lots of different marine species to live in. Wading birds find food in the estuary mud at low tide, and protected seabirds visit the open bays during the winter months. On the beaches, the falling tide exposes boulders and rock pools. These tiny worlds left behind by the sea give us a glimpse of what's in deeper water. They're part of the reefs that extend out beyond the waves. These reefs provide a solid base for marine plants and animals to attach themselves to in the shifting currents. The rock crevices create shelter for mobile animals, like this colourful squat lobster and the rare giant goby. Further out, soft corals capture food particles in the water and fish gather in shoals. On the sandbanks and sediment around the Fallon Helford, you'll find seagrass beds. Like underwater meadows, they bind the sand together and provide hiding places for young fish and other animals. The tentacles of this cuttlefish mimic seagrass blades to blend in. There's another species here that creates an unusual habitat, merle. Merle's a hard, chalky red seaweed that forms small, unattached twigs. These can accumulate, making spectacular pink-purple carpets on the seafloor. Beds like these are rare and the ones in Fallon Helford are the largest in England. Like seagrass, merle provides shelter for commercial species. Lots of other animals find a home in it too. This urchin disguises itself by moving pieces of merle into place with its tube feet. Other animals don't need camouflage. All these different marine habitats and the plants and animals that live in them are connected to each other. From the creeks and estuaries to the open bays, they're also connected to us, helping to regulate our climate, providing us with the seafood we love to eat, as well as places to relax and enjoy the natural world.